My name is Margaret, and I am a 41-year-old janitor. I've been working for a housekeeping company that cleans corporate offices since I was 22, and I am a single woman about to celebrate 21 years of service. I took this job because I needed to look after my mom, who was very sick. We were a small family just my mom, my brother and me, and my mom was raising us on her own. When she got seriously ill, I had to leave vocational school and make time to take her to doctor appointments and help her out. I chose this job because it gave me the flexibility to take care of my mom. Now I'm really happy I ended up here. My boss and coworkers are supportive and always treat me kindly, calling me Margaret, sweetie. I also have a few people working under me, and they are wonderful too. I used to think there couldn't be a better place to work. My mother died when I was 23, and my brother was 18, right as fall turned to winter. Losing her hit me hard, and I started taking more time off work. It was just as our company was getting ready for the busiest time of year, with our year-end deep cleaning. Despite the bad timing, my colleagues told me, it's okay, we'll wait for you to feel better. I was grateful for their kindness, but all I wanted was to be alone. I felt like following my mom. But I had a younger brother who needed me. He had lost his mom before even becoming an adult, and out of care for him, I forced myself to keep going. At that time, he was still in college. I looked after my brother, paid for his school textbooks as he moved through the grades, and drove him home when his classes ended late. When he got a job, I bought him a suit as a celebration gift. Even though I didn't earn much, I worked hard and thought of myself as standing in for our mom. After our mom died, my brother started asking me, why don't you quit being a janitor? And why don't you get a better job? I think he was embarrassed by my low income and our modest social status. At that time, I wasn't mentally ready to change jobs, so hearing this from him was really tough. My coworkers were the ones who supported me kindly during this time. Later, my brother worked hard, got a job at a big corporation, a well-known company you often see in TV ads and online. His starting salary was almost double mine. He was as happy as a kid getting lots of money for New Year's. Look at this, sis. I've surpassed you in just two months. Check out this payslip, isn't it amazing? He'd say, full of joy and bragging to others. Sis, quit your janitor job and get a good one like mine, he'd tell me. Hey, watch how you talk. I love my current job, I'd reply. Quit making excuses. Our salaries are no match, he'd argue. I wish he had chosen his words more carefully. Although I was glad his efforts had paid off, sitting in front of our mother's portrait, I reported, my brother, your son, is all grown up now. But my younger brother, proud of his job and his company, was heading down a troubling path. He was good at his work and always talked about the praise he got from his boss. Despite being new to the company, he was chosen for a big project. As his sister, I was proud of him. However, I noticed him making condescending comments about his colleagues, and this only got worse over time. I was doing well at getting noticed, but my brother complained about his coworkers. He thought they were slow and feared they might hurt his reputation. He said this openly, as if he looked down on everyone, not just those at his job. I knew this attitude could really harm him eventually. I tried to warn him. I think all the new hires are at the same level, you know. You're all just starting, I told him. But my brother snapped back, Wow, sis, you're pretty talkative for a janitor with a low-level education, and he sneered at me. Frustrated, I answered. Well, I've been working longer than you, so I know there isn't that much difference in people's abilities. He retorted, Really? Do you have any college graduates at your cleaning company before you lecture me? Why don't you tell them they've wasted their lives? After belittling me, he went out for drinks. I thought the real world would teach him a lesson soon. Despite my concerns, his arrogance only grew worse. It started with him feeling superior because his salary was higher than mine. And then he began to see himself as more gifted than others, which changed how he acted.
He didn't hold back his critical comments about me. At first, I thought he was just excited about his job, so I let it slide. But when gentle warnings didn't work, I seriously scolded him, yet nothing changed. I started to doubt myself as a sister, wondering if I hadn't handled things well with him. Years passed, and I kept working as a janitor. My brother did well and climbed the corporate ladder, but his dismissive attitude toward others only got worse. Then he moved in with his girlfriend, and they got married. His wife also seemed very arrogant, which stressed me out. She was much younger than him, and it felt like she was from a different generation. The first time I met her, when my brother introduced us, she asked, So you really are a janitor? I replied, Yes, I find it a fulfilling and enjoyable job. She said, Really? Isn't it dirty? I couldn't believe it when she said, It must smell bad. My brother joined in and said, Right, it's unimaginable, isn't it? It's unsanitary, and she's not attractive. She doesn't have any money either, but what can I do? I'm related to her. Sorry about that. I was shocked to hear this and don't remember much of what happened afterwards. After she left, I yelled at my brother, You were out of line. What do you mean? I am related to her so it can't be helped? And what's up with her too? Don't you dare judge people by their jobs or income. My brother, surprised by my sudden outburst, stammered but managed to snap back. Shut up, you're a vocational school dropout and I'm a college graduate, so is she. We can't help but look down on you. You earn less and have a low-level job, so you're the one leading a loser life. With that, he stormed out of the house. I cried out of sadness and frustration. I had dropped out of vocational school because of our mother's illness and my brother knew that. His words hurt me deeply. Yes, my income is modest, but I had still managed to pay for his education. I did my best to take over our late mother's role. I must have made a mistake in how I dealt with him. While crying, I looked at myself in the mirror. It bothered me that he called me ugly. I have a face similar to my brother's. I'm neither beautiful nor cute, but I don't think I'm ugly. Maybe I could take better care of myself. I wondered, if I paid more attention to my looks and changed myself, would he see me differently? But even if I dressed up, it's unlikely my brother's personality would change. Marrying a woman with similar attitudes probably only made his narcissism worse. While talking to my coworkers about this, I started to think that my relationship with my brother might be beyond repair. One day, I received a postcard from my brother and his wife saying they had moved. From the address, it looked like a standalone house. What's this all about? They're so reserved. If they had told me, I would have thrown a celebration and even helped them move. I had something I wanted to discuss with them too. So I decided to call them after a long time. Hello, I've got your postcard. I could hear my brother's cheerful voice on the phone. It's amazing, right? a single-family house at this young age because I'm a fast tracker. It would be impossible if it weren't me, right? Yeah, amazing indeed, I replied. He was bragging as usual, but I found it nostalgic and let him talk as much as he wanted. Then, I brought up my matter. I have something to talk to you about too. Just the other day, my company got contracted to clean your office building. We might bump into each other occasionally. Good for you. You wouldn't get to step foot in such a big building otherwise, right? He could have just ended there, but he added, There's one more thing. I got a boyfriend. What? Seriously? My brother sounded genuinely surprised. Yes, he's older and a wonderful man. After what you said, I started taking better care of my skin and such. He fell for me at first sight, I said jokingly. Well then, that's thanks to me, huh? Somehow, he managed to take credit for this as well. Well, I wouldn't say you haven't played a part in it. I wanted to introduce my boyfriend to you. He's been eager to meet you too, so would it be okay if we visited your place soon? We could also bring a housewarming gift, I mentioned casually. Ed, you're coming over. His previously cheerful tone suddenly darkened. I wondered what was going on. You do understand what your job is, don't you? Huh? Job, you mean my cleaning job? 
Listen, I've got a new house, which means it's clean, right? I don't want a filthy person like a janitor coming in my house. Excuse me. Was he saying that because janitors are considered dirty, he doesn't want one in his brand new house? I was confused and my mind went blank. Considering the dirty work you do, shouldn't you know how to refrain from visiting people's places? I'm sure your coworkers feel the same. You're out of line, that's rude. Apologize, I said, my blood starting to boil in anger. I could feel my fury ready to explode. Was it common courtesy to stay away because my job is dirty? Rude, apologize, what the hell? I couldn't contain myself and yelled out loud. You've got some nerve to disrespect people like that. This is unacceptable. I could have handled it if it were just about me, but he was mocking my colleagues too. I couldn't let this slide. I could tell my harsh words shocked my brother over the phone. He's usually quick to criticize others, but when someone fights back, he stumbles over his words. Do you really think a person's worth is based on their job? That's just silly. Apologize to me right now. What? Why are you freaking out all of a sudden? He replied. I've had enough of you. How did you become so mean? Mom would be heartbroken. The real mean person is you. Your boyfriend must be worthless if he can't get a better job. If he had any sense, he wouldn't even talk to a cleaning lady. If you weren't my sister, I would never deal with someone dirty like you. If you weren't my brother, I would have left you behind a long time ago. I shot back. I was about to say that I'm cutting ties with you. Never contact me again. Oh, okay. Got it. Goodbye then? We both said things to hurt each other. It was a petty argument, and neither of us was in the mood for a mature conversation. He tried to say something more, but I hung up on him. I was ready to cut ties with my brother. He's the only sibling I have, but I couldn't stand him anymore because he thinks that, as a janitor, I don't deserve basic respect. Even though we're siblings, if our values are this different, it's better for us to stay apart from now on. I'll be fine. My brother is already an adult. This is our goodbye. I had come to terms with my feelings. Several months passed since I decided to sever ties with my brother. By some twist of fate, I was assigned to clean the office building where he worked. I think my boss was trying to be thoughtful, but I really didn't want to be there. However, my principle is to do my best at any job I'm given. Suppressing my feelings, I headed to my brother's company. The building was huge and spacious. With such a large space, I should be able to avoid running into my brother. Even if we did meet, he probably wouldn't recognize me. Feeling slightly relieved at that thought, I focused on cleaning, pushing my cart filled with cleaning supplies. It was that afternoon while I was mopping the floor. I noticed a group of about five men standing by the vending machine, sipping canned coffee and talking. One of them was saying, I really am sorry for the inconvenience caused. Enough is enough. How many years have you been with us? Consult and report before things get to a point where the whole team has to clean up your mess, another man scolded. Yes, sir. It's happened three times just this quarter. I'm sorry, sir. It seemed like the guy who was apologizing had made some mistakes, and they all had to work together to fix them. Good job, guys. I thought to myself as I continued mopping, making sure not to look in their direction. While your peers have already become team leaders, some even managers, you need to step up your game, another scolding came. I'm sorry, the man replied. Those are some harsh words. I wish they'd let him off the hook soon, I thought. I wanted to mop from there all the way down the hallway on the other side, but they were in the way. After scolding the man once again, they all returned to the office. As the group passed by me, I noticed a familiar face my brother. The one who had messed up and was being scolded was my brother. I couldn't believe it. My brother also saw me, froze for a minute, then went completely pale. But without saying a word to me, he quickly followed his team and left. During the rest of my shift, my mind kept drifting back to my brother. He was supposed to be the fastest rising among his colleagues, 
But the brother I saw earlier looked nothing but a burden to the company, a straggler. He seemed like an employee who constantly made mistakes at work and was always apologizing. This intuition came from watching various human interactions in the corporate structure over the years as a janitor. His claim of being a competent individual was just his vanity. He must have been doing well at the beginning, at least. As I suspected, he might have become complacent and been overtaken by his colleagues, tripped up when he least expected it. I think it's bound to happen because of his personality. He looks down on others so easily, but I don't need to worry about him anymore. My brother and I are strangers now. We've cut ties. A few days after realizing the truth, I saw my brother again. I was cleaning the main lobby when he came down the elevator with someone. Darn, I left the bag with the samples upstairs, he said. Um, I'll go get it. You can wait here, sir. No need. I'll go, you're useless anyway. But when you get promoted, you take care of me, okay? Not again, sir. I told you, I'll go get it. The man, who seemed to be his junior, went back on the elevator to retrieve the forgotten item. It was ironic seeing how he treated me in the past, claiming to be competent. From a distance, I watched my brother shrink into a corner of the lobby, feeling pity for him as I cleaned the leaves of the lobby's decorative plants. My senior colleague, who was cleaning with me, quietly came over. Hey, isn't that your brother? Uh-huh. Yes, it seems like he messed up. Let's just leave him be, okay? My colleague, looking worriedly at my brother, went back to her cleaning duties. Bothered by our sympathetic looks, my brother sprang up and marched over to me. Hey janitor, what are you doing? I'm cleaning. No, I mean why are you here? I'm working. At my reply, my brother got visibly angry and raised his voice. Don't you dare tell my wife that I look pathetic at work. You got that? His frustrations seemed to be vented on me. The gazes of those around us focused on my loudly ranting brother. Out of concern for the onlookers, I whispered, You're trying. Shut up. Don't you, a lowly educated person, order me around. People are watching. People are watching, oh dear brother, please can you please be quiet. As I tried to calm him down by holding his hand, he recoiled. You, you're filthy. Don't touch me. He aggressively wiped the area I had touched and continued his insults. You're threatening me, aren't you? You want money, right? How much do you want me to cough up? Threaten for money? What are you talking about? I asked, dumbfounded. I told you not to tell my wife. Get it, you idiot, my brother snapped. Oh, that's what this is about, I realized. Constant mistakes at work or falling behind in your career, which one do you not want me to mention? Both, obviously, he replied, clearly scared I might reveal everything to his wife. Wait, you're even lying to your own wife? I asked. Shut up, no garbage like you should speak, he retorted. Garbage, what on earth? He didn't care who was watching, he just kept insulting me. The stress from his job must be overwhelming, and he probably felt better by putting me down. I'm not some punching bag for you to take your frustrations out on, I told him. Just then, a voice from behind intervened. That's rude to the cleaning staff. Shut up, who are you? My brother blurted out, finally noticing the tension around him. Unable to tolerate my brother's rudeness any longer, a well-dressed, gray-haired elderly man stepped forward. His high social status was evident. The man stood beside me and gently placed a hand on my back. Dirty idiot, such intolerable slurs. Apologize to her right now. Huh, but she's my sister. We're just having a family squabble, my brother stammered, trying to downplay it. I thought you said you cut ties with me, I interjected. Shut up, he snapped back, showing his dual nature humble towards the man but aggressive towards me. The gray-haired man then added, If it's a family issue, it concerns me as well. Huh? Pleased to meet you. I'm the gentleman dating your sister, he revealed. My brother was shocked. I'm the executive vice president of the subsidiary that your company is seconding. I'm also a board member of your company. I'm sorry we didn't have a chance to introduce ourselves the other day. 
What? 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 My brother was panicking completely out of his depth. Feeling a bit awkward, I gave my boyfriend a side glance. You didn't really have to step in just now, I muttered. If not now, then when? He replied with a warm smile, mimicking a popular TV personality. Hey sis, is that really true? My little brother asked, terrified. Indeed. When we were contracted for cleaning this building, I accompanied our CEO. He, who was in charge of the contract, was interested in me, I explained. No, that's a lie. It's the truth. During the contract signing, I instantly fell for her who was explaining the details on behalf of a CEO who couldn't do it well, and I asked her out, my boyfriend said. A wave of gasps and murmurs echoed through the lobby. How embarrassing. I heard you said that no decent man would date a cleaning lady and that he probably doesn't even have a stable job. I didn't say that, my brother responded, but whether he said it or not, he needed to apologize for the insults he threw at me. My brother had no choice but to listen to the stern words from the man, turning pale. You're Margaret's brother, aren't you? You shouldn't worry your sister too much. By then, my senior cleaner had joined us, and colleagues from other floors were gathering too. My brother was completely cornered. Looking defeated, he could barely stand as he bowed his head towards me. I'm sorry, he muttered, his voice weak and filled with despair, lacking any energy or emotion. Later, my brother was transferred to a remote branch of a subsidiary company. Let me make it clear, my boyfriend had nothing to do with my brother's transfer. My brother panicked when his co-workers heard his repeated insults towards me and feared his wife finding out about his problems at work. This led him to make several mistakes. It seems like he's no longer on the fast track to promotion. His wife came to me crying when she learned about his transfer. You're dating an executive from my husband's company, aren't you? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Please bring my husband back to the head office, she begged. Of course, I said no, her plea fell on deaf ears. Unable to afford their mortgage with his reduced salary after the transfer, it looks like they'll have to sell their newly built home. I have no interest in what happens to my brother and his wife after this. And me, I got married to my boyfriend, and we're living happily in our newly built home. I'm still working as a cleaner, but now less out in the field, because I've become the president of the cleaning company I've always worked for. The president retired, and I was nominated as the successor. I had a lot of doubts about being president, but I decided to give it my all for the company I love. No matter what anyone says, I plan to continue doing the job I love, for the company I love, with my head held high.